Hi friends, are you still looking for school in the USA that requires no application fee and offers full funding to eligible international graduate applicants? Then I have good news for you. This university in the USA have clearly stated in the email I got from them that they don't require application fee and GRE and GMAT are not required for most programs up until summer 2024. So. If you're interested in any of the 60 graduate programs, which include accountancy, advanced business administration, biochemistry and molecular biology, biology, biomedical engineering, business administration with concentration in finance, information systems, management and marketing, business analytics, chemistry, civil engineering, clinical psychology, clinical rehabilitation, counseling, communication, communication science and disorders, computer science, counseling with specialization in clinical mental health counseling, creative writing, criminal justice, cybersecurity, dietetics, disaster management and sustainability, disaster studies, early childhood education, electrical engineering, engineering management, English with concentrations in English studies, linguistic literature and cultural studies, rhetoric, composition and literacy, English as a second language, entrepreneurship, exercise science, experimental psychology, family nurse practitioner, global trade management, higher education administration, history, human genetics, informatics, human resource management, interdisciplinary studies with a concentration in anthropology, another interdisciplinary studies with concentration in art and history, and another one with a concentration in English, manufacturing engineering, material science and engineering, mathematics with concentrations in mathematics, mathematics teaching, applied mathematics and statistics, mathematics and statistics with interdisciplinary applications, mechanical engineering with concentration in materials engineering, medicine, music with concentration in conducting, ethnomusicology, multiple instrument performance, music education, performance, theory composition, nursing practice, occupational therapy, ocean, coastal and health sciences, pharmacy, physician assistant studies, physics, political science with concentrations in governance and policy process, word and borderland politics, rehabilitation counseling, school psychology, social work, sociology, Spanish language. Then continue watching this video. In this video, I will walk you through the scholarship or funding available in this university, how to apply for the scholarship and admission, and most importantly, the scholarship and admission requirements or documents needed for admission application. And let me mention that the school accepts unofficial transcripts. Thank you for subscribing. I'm here to make your study abroad easier. My name is Kelechi. If you are new here, the aim of my channel is to share with you universities and colleges that offer international students automatic scholarships and require no application fee. It takes a lot of time to get this done. So I've decided to make your life easier so that people who do not have the finance to study abroad are not left behind. A lot of study abroad opportunities have been shared on this channel and feedbacks from people have been really amazing. Apart from going through the study abroad journey myself, I have assisted and continue to guide a lot of international students to their dream schools and programs, including scholarships. Please guys, don't forget to hit the like button. It gets me motivated to do more valuable content for you. Subscribe and remember to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever I post video. Friends, please do not forget to click the like button. It gets me motivated to do more valuable content for you. Also, kindly subscribe. So my people, in the official website of the university, I'm going to start with funding for graduate student section. If you desire to study on a fully funded scholarship in the USA or Canadian universities, then you have to consider schools that offer graduate assistantship as most of the procedural type of funding in these countries are in form of graduate assistantships or teaching assistantship. And this particular university offers that. And the name of the university is the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. On the page for funding for graduate students, there are different scholarships available for both domestic and international students. However, I will concentrate on the graduate assistantship as they come with tuition fees and monthly stipend. 
other ones are partial funding as you can see right on the screen for the graduate select scholarship this is just five hundred dollars per semester for a total of one thousand dollars however scrolling down for the graduate assistantships as you can see right here an assistantship is a form of financial assistance provided to graduate students through part-time up to 20 hours per week then when you click on the graduate assistantship it's going to take us to the page for the graduate assistantship as you can see right here that they have three types of assistantships teaching research and graduate and right here for the different assistantships that is graduate teaching or research assistantship you can see their respective monthly stipend for graduate assistantship the minimum monthly stipend is $1,250 with the minimum annual rate of $15,000 that is for master's level then for PhD level the monthly the minimum monthly stipend is $2,400 then minimum annual stipend is $28,800 US dollars and remember for the master's and PhD graduate assistantship or teaching assistantship it covers the non-resident tuition waiver and also the monthly stipend that I just talked about which you can see right on the screen so each of the section you will see information such as eligible for non-resident tuition waiver now let us look into the requirement for the graduate teaching assistantship or the graduate research assistantship as you can see right on the screen that the graduate teaching assistantship responsibilities will be determined by colleges department or and or program however some of the duties include providing feedback and or grading student work monitoring and proctoring course activities leading and or supervising laboratory sessions discussion sessions or recitation labs providing assistance to students during scheduled office hours and performing clerical texts associated with course instruction and for the minimum qualification you must be admitted to a graduate degree program must be in a good academic standing hold a bachelor's degree or higher appropriate to the area of service be registered full-time for the respective semester additionally for the assistantships offered in this school you are advised to contact your program director about the different assistantships available in your field of study and alternatively you can visit the career.utrgv.edu for available graduate assistantship positions after this video i'm going to keep the link to the official website of this school that will enable you explore the pages that i visited in this video and they have made life easier for you at the left hand side you can see the link for program directors when you click on it it will then take you to the program page where you see against each of the program you will see the name of the graduate program coordinator or director with his or her respective email address which you can see right here for masters in bilingual education you can see the name of the graduate director or coordinator and the email under the name so you do the same you explore the page for the program directors to identify your own program director alternatively when you click on this link that is careers.utrgv.edu it's going to take you to this particular page that includes the staff page graduate assistantships and student employment as you are interested in graduate assistantships you then click on it then scroll down for them you now see the list of the available graduate assistantships you can see the listing by department so there is a graduate assistantship for department of global affairs college of liberal art and history office of strategic enrollment and student affairs college of education college of liberal art and literature college of business administration and so on college of science school of integrated biology College of Sciences, Mathematical and Statistical Sciences, College of Liberal Arts and Psychological Sciences, College of Sciences, Sustainable Agriculture and Rural Advancement, School of Medicine and Neuroscience, College of Engineering and Computer Science, and also College of Mechanical Engineering, College of Engineering and Computer Science, College of Sciences, School of Health, Environmental and Marine Sciences, College of Fine Arts and Music, College of Health Professions, Health and Human Performance, College of 
health professions physician assistant college of health professions and communication disorders and so on so there are about three pages after this page you click on next it's going to take you to another page you'll continue to check if your desired department or college have available graduate assistantships then clicking on view details will give you further information about that particular position that is the graduate assistantships requirement application deadline and application procedures for admission requirements the school has program specific admission requirements and to see each of the programs admission requirements all you need to do is to move into the program page which i've already shown during my introduction when i was listing out the available graduate programs when you must have identified your programs take for instance you are interested in manufacturing engineering all you need to do is to click on that particular program then you scroll down you can see so many information about that program scrolling down further you can see some information such as admission requirements as you can see right here there is no application fee then to confirm what i stated in the beginning about gre and gmt being waived for most programs all you need to do is come over to the gre and gmt section as you can see right here that gre and gmt are currently not required for eligible programs then when you scroll down you see the list of programs that are currently waiving gre or gmt score up until summer 2024 so masters in accountancy or the phd level currently do not require gre and gmt as you can see right here currently not required let me zoom it so that you can see the screen well then for business administration that is mba currently not required then business administration for phd level it is required business analytics currently not required global trade management currently not required most of the programs as you can see right here civil engineering not required computer science not required electrical engineering not required engineering management not required so many of the program not required not required not required, just few that have required under the gre and gmt column school of social work not required then for school of nursing all those graduate program under the school of nursing do not require gre or gmt then going forward for school of medicine you can see right here not required not required college of liberal arts not required just two programs that is experimental psychology and clinical psychology for the master's level require gre and gmt so all you need to do is to come over for the gre and gmt section check your own program to know if they require gre or gmt then to see further admission requirements for each of the program all you need to do is to click on that particular program for instance i click on mechanical engineering with a concentration in materials engineering when you click on it from the program page it will take you to the web page for that particular program you will see information such as overview of the program what the program is all about then admission requirement you can see under this particular program like i stated in the beginning that the school has program specific admission requirements so you have to check with your program to know the admission requirement you can see bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering or a bachelor's degree in another field with course courses and or experience that's prepared the applicant for graduate work in mechanical engineering or material science engineering depending upon the track the student opts to follow on the graduate GPA of at least 3.0 in the last 60 semester credit hours, three letters of recommendation from professional or academic sources, letter of intent, that is your personal statement or statement of papers as the case may be, detailing professional goals and reasons for pursuing the graduate degree, resume, that is your academic CV, GRE general test, as you can see right here, that reading it from this section, you will see that this program requires GRE. However, currently the program is waiving GRE, GRE up until summer 2024. The mistake that most study abroad aspirants make is that they always fail to contact the program director or the department regarding some specific 
information. Why I'm saying this is that most of this information are permanently written on their website, such as requirement for GRE and GMAT. But you will get to know if your desired program is among the graduate program within that particular requirement, such as GRE, GMAT, application fee, only when you contact your program director or your department. So always make sure it, whatever information you do not find on a school website, always contact your program director or the department asking or requesting for further explanation pertaining to that particular information then before i move into how to apply let us see the admission deadline for, for the graduate programs for former for, for 2024 academic session they have april or may 2024 as admission deadline for international students as you can see right here for advanced business administration for semester is june 1st of next year accountancy april 1st summer 2 may 1st the same goes for agricultural environment and sustainability sciences april 1st may 1st for summer 1 and summer 2 then for 4 june 1st for applied statistics and data science program so all you need to do is to go through the deadline Page. I will, like I said, I will leave the, after the video. I will leave the link to the school website to apply. They've already made life easier for you. Against each of the program, you will see a section like "Apply Now." Clicking on that particular button will take you to the application portal for that particular program. Then on the next page, you will see a section "Apply Now." You click on it. If you have already started your application. All you need to do is to click on login, then use your login detail that you generated during the time you were starting your application to log in to include other relevant information for your application. And the link to this particular university, that is University of Texas, your Grand Valley, can be seen right on my screen.